SEO should be a focus for all companies and individuals with a website because in 2021, it is such a rich traffic stream and the technical part of SEO do really support your content. Today's product showcase is Scrapey, a technical SEO product based on AI, helping you to optimize your rankings. So without further ado, let's dive into Scrapey and let's see how it can help us optimize. We are now in this beautiful platform of Scrapey. As you can see right off the bat here, we have the project of my website, which has an overall health of 88, which is good. Of course, 99 would be the best. But this is our overview where we have our different projects. So if you have multiple websites, this is also possible within Scrapey. But for now, I have my website here and I can then go to the project to see all of the information what is giving me this 88 health score. So what Scrapey is doing is that it's running thousands of different checks on my website and utilizing AI to make sure all of these checks are correct and going even further when it is to check my different pages. But you can see here on the dashboard, I have an SEO score on 73%. We can get that elaborated by going here and seeing why is it not 99. And that is because Scrapey is telling me I'm missing a sitemap, which is incorrect, but that is just the way that Scrapey is checking. Then it can see my content ratio is not optimal and some of my pages is missing structured data. If I do fix all of these different tasks you can see down here, I would score higher on the SEO score within Scrapey. It is not crucial for you to fix it, but it could be a great way to maybe higher your rankings one or two. Now going back to the overview here, we do also have our Alexa global rank. We have some information about a domain. If it is accessible, it is not for my domain. Then we have some different checks down here. It was the same as what you just saw before in the SEO report. Then we have some different elements here with Google page speed, where it is that it runs a Google page speed on our website to see what it can improve or not. And this is the basic of Scrapey. It is running a lot of different checks and elements to make sure that it can gather everything in one platform for you to just go through the task and make sure that your website is 100% optimized for SEO. Down here, I have added four keywords and here we can see my average position is 21. And then again, down here, we have our issues where we have high priority, normal priority and low priority. And if I did fix all of these issues, I would score 99 in the health score. But talking about tasks, they have made this beautiful view where you can see all of your tasks in one view. And of course, they are prioritized after how critical they are. You can see here, I have two critical tasks that I need to do. And then I have one high task in priority and then some normal tasks I can do. So what I'm noticing here is that a lot of these tasks I don't find relevant. For instance, I'm already using WebP on my website. So it's confusing me a little bit the same with the sitemap, I do also have a sitemap. So I think the way they check is not checking the way that I'm running my website, but maybe they will be improved in the future because websites are doing it in so many different ways. But here, I basically have a long list of tasks that I can just go through starting from the top and work my way down. And when I have fixed all of these, then I'm sure that my website is 100% optimized for SEO. And then I'm sure that my content will rank the best possible. Of course, it also depends on the content, but from a technical aspect, this is very great to see. Now, what Scrapey also have is on-page SEO. Scrapey is not for building content. Scrapey is for the technical aspect and for rank tracking. So on the on-page here, I will just go to diagnostics. And here I have two pages where I can see some different elements for these pages. I can see how many requests are made on this page how many fonts are loading, how many scripts and style sheets. And this needs to be as low as possible because the lower elements needs to load, the faster the website will load. Now going on to the syntax here. Here you can see that these two pages have 31 errors. So let's click on those errors to see what it is. It is here telling me that I have some structural errors. It is telling me a char set attribute on meta element are found after the first 1024 bytes. See, these elements here and these errors are 
great, but it's not telling me why is this an error and what should I do instead. It is just highlighting me the error. I really need to see what I can do to solve this. Of course, I could just go and Google it, but I really need the solution right here because Scraby is trying to do this where they are an all-in-one platform for the technical SEO. So by them adding the solution here, it would really save me a lot of time. Moving on to the keywords here. Here it is telling me for these two pages that it has scanned, what are the first words, the second words, and the third words. And this is the keywords that Scraby thinks that the content is focusing on. The first page is my front page and it doesn't have a lot of content. But the next one here is cookie yes review. And here it's telling me that the first keywords is website cookies and cookie yes. That is more or less correct. The focus keyword for this article is cookie yes. But this you can really use to see whether your content is focused on the right keyword. And if not, then maybe you need to go and tweak your content to make sure it is really focused on the keyword that you have as a focus keyword for this piece of content. In the secondary and the last box here, it is a bit of a mix. It says category YouTube, GDPR compliant, entire website. That is a bit of a mix. It's not something I'm focusing a lot on. I'm mainly focused on my keyword which is cookie yes review for this specific article and as cookie yes review is not showing maybe i need to go and tweak this content a little bit now moving on to the headings here and remember all of this is on page seo this means the technical seo in your pieces of content you can see here i'm getting an error because on my front page i have two h1s and you should always only have one so i should definitely go and fix that if it is valid but on this one here, you can see that I'm using H1, H2, and so on, correct. But I'm not using H5. So maybe I should go and check why I'm using H6 and not H5. Because building a piece of content is like building a Word document. It needs to be with the headings correct for your table of content and for Google to read it right. Now in the canonicals tab here, we can just see some few elements, we can see whether the status is correct, the URL is correct, the content type is correct, and if it is a canonical tag, then we can see the address which it is canonical for. And if this is incorrect, you really need to fix that right away. In the second last here in images, here we can see how many images we are using on the different pages, and then we can show details about the images. Here we can see the width, the size, the alt tag, because alt tag is describing the image, I can see here the image I'm using of myself is not described, but I'm not sure that it's actually showing on the website. Other than that, I'm using alt tags correct all the way around, so that looks fine. If I scroll up a bit here, you can see another view on it where it shows whether the image is external or internal, and it is telling me a lot of different elements like the URL, the domain, the title, and so on. So this is just a lot of information that you can use to really make sure that all of your content and images are working correct and is optimized for a technical aspect. Here I'm basically on a report for my entire page here and you can see all of the different elements we went through. They are laying in here, all the keywords, all of the headings, all of the links and so on. So this is one long report about your page to see what you can optimize from a technical aspect. I will now move on to Google PageSpeed. And this is similar to running a Google PageSpeed. They're just running it in and showing it in their design. Here we can see that I have a page speed on 92 and a load time on 0.8, which is good according to Scravy. I have a good page size and my first content full paint is loading in 0.8 seconds, which is good. Other than that, we can see some information down here about our pages. Here, my cookie yes article is scoring 99 out of 100, which is really great. When it is that you run a Google page speed, you can choose whether it should be for desktop or for mobile. And the same goes for Scrapey. If I press mobile up here, I will get the report for my website on mobile. And here you can see that I have an 84% score because of my first contentful paint is loading too slow. So on mobile, I need to really compress my image to be able to score a higher score. Other than that, it is small tweaks to be able to get a higher score. But now let's move on to the SERP. In the SERP here, I have added four keywords. And what I can see is that I can see what number do I rank, what page ranks for this keyword, if I do even rank. If I want to see more information about the keyword and how I'm ranking, I can click on the arrow out here. And then you can see that 
I'm number three right here. Other than that, there are two reviews over me. If I wanted to get a higher ranking, I could go in and see what they do different from me and then get inspired by it. But here we can just see my current position, what my best position has been on the keyword. And it is showing me the top 33 right here. That is very simple. And that is for all of your keywords. Again, remember there is both mobile and desktop. A lot of these modules can be for both desktop and mobile. So you can see for desktop, I'm actually number seven. So my website is working better on mobile than my competitors, than they are working on desktop. Moving on to the SEO here. Here you can see again, which I've shown you in the beginning of the video, I have an SEO score of 73, and that is because of my sitemap is missing, which is incorrect. My content ratio is a bit down on one page. That is probably my front page. If I click here, I can see that it is my front page. That's because my front page doesn't have a lot of text. Other than that, it is basically the same. I have the issues I can go through to get a higher score. Now the uptime monitoring, which is the last module I want to show you. This one is a great tool for you to relax a bit because this one will always tell you if something is wrong. If your website goes down, this one will immediately tell you that your website is down and you will get an email from Scraby telling you that your website is down and you need to do something immediately about it. Other than that, you can see in a history span, how has it been? Has it always been up? Has there been some times when it's been down and so on? I would like to be able to choose a date range in here, but I can only see for the last two hours right now. And what it is doing is that it is checking my website and not only checking my website, but also checking how fast it's loading. So let's say that I have an average loading time on 1.4, but all of a sudden it takes three seconds to load my website, then something is wrong. And then I can see in here that something is wrong and I need to do something about it. Now in the last module, which is not really a module, but it's just to show you in the settings, we have some different elements. We can enable all analysis, which means that all of your pages will be analysed once in a while. So if you're doing a lot of changes, you can just enable this one and then Scraper will check for you once or twice weekly to see whether your fixes are, are done or not. But you can also do this manually by analyzing your pages up in the URL up here. Or if you are on the specific module, you can also do it in there. Here we also have the crawler, some information about that. And we can also again enable auto crawl so it crawls periodically. This means that if you're adding new articles, then you don't have to really go into Scraby and add the article and say, I wrote a new article, please add this to Scraby. Scraby will automatically add that. The last two menu points down here is serve. It will automatically track your Google rankings. And for uptime here, we can enable uptime monitoring and the notifications that I just talked about. Now, the last thing I want to show you is the page overview. This is just to show you fast. In here, it will show you all of the pages that Scraby has crawled for you. And then for each of these pages, you can get a report, as we saw before, where it is showing us a ton of data and different data points that we can really optimize on. This does take a little bit of time, so do be patient. Now here is the report for Arcadal, another product I reviewed. I have this review on my website, and here we can see information about connection. This is very technical, canonical. We can see what language is using. Here we can see that my title is actually one character too long from what Scraby is recommending to have a healthy title, which is not too long for Google because then we get those three dots and that's a negative thing. Other than that, we can see our content ratio. We can see our meta tags, our open graph, which is the data when we share it on social media. We can see our link tags and so much more about this page. As you can see here, again, the keywords, a cable is the keyword I focus on, so that's great. But here you can see so much information about your specific pages that it is that you analyze. So that is just a great report to have for you to see what you need to optimize on your specific page. Moving on to the pricing structure of Scraby, it consists of four plans and they do also have the agency plan if you do need it for your agency. It is a very cheap alternative to the competitors by far, but do be aware that Scraby is still a new product in the development phase. However, when we do take a look at the pricing structure, it does differ on a lot of elements. So be sure that you choose the right plan for you 
because often what we see in the industry is that it only differs on the amount of keywords and how often you want the system to track those keywords because that's where they really need to use their server power. But within Scraby, they differ on a lot of different modules, features, and so on. So be sure that you end up with the right plan. Now, moving on to the competitors to Scraby, it is SE Ranking and SEMrush. And as I just mentioned, Scraby is still a new product in the development phase. So when we do look at SE Ranking and SEMrush, they have a lot more functionality and huge data sets that they run on when it is they need to check rankings and so on. So if you need a tool that has all of the functionality now, do not go with Scrapey. However, if you need AI modules and you can wait for the more competitor analysis modules, then I would highly recommend you going with Scrapey because the design is great and the way they utilize AI is really working well for them. And with the roadmap coming up, which I will talk about in a moment, it is very exciting to see where Scrapey will go in the future. And talking about the future, they are working on an integrations to Google Search Console and to Google Analytics. So all of the data that we have in there, we can really utilize within Scrapey. For instance, if we have some pages with a high bounce rate within Scrapey, they could give us some tips and tricks to how we could optimize and make the page better to lower our bounce rate. And that is just one example. Of course, with Google Search Console, they can double check their rankings, whether they are correct or not. Then they are also working on a backlinks monitoring module so we can see where all of our backlinks are coming from and really utilize those backlinks to make sure that maybe we can get more backlinks or we at least can get some ideas of what type of content do the different types of people like out there. And then the most exciting element is the competitor analysis module. Via this module, we can see what is working for our competitors and then we can basically copy and paste it, of course, into our own language. But if it is working for our competitors, it will most likely also work for you. So that is a very exciting module that I am very excited to see and how they're really going to build it into Scraby because there is a lot of functionality. And talking about functionality, I would like to see more improvements in the workflow. And that is also a focus for them when we do look at their roadmap because often we see a lot of different numbers and text and it looks great, but when you get a number without any text, then you're pretty lost because you don't know what the number means. You don't know if it's good that it's high or if it's good that it's low. So some more describing text or some tool tips would really help us out to understand Scraby even more and really utilize the tool to make sure that we do everything we can to hire our technical SEO from the standpoint of Scraby. Now moving on to the pros and cons of Scraby, starting with the pros. They have a beautiful and easy to use design. They have extensive analysis of your website and they have an exciting roadmap. Whereas for the cons, some modules are loading too slow. I'm missing explanations of the different numbers and some of the tasks are incorrect. Example, the sitemap tasks that you just saw in the walkthrough. But using Scrapey, I'm always sure that my website from the SEO technical aspect is running smoothly and perfectly and with the uptime monitoring and all of the other features and modules within Scrapey, I will always be sure that my website is optimized to the highest standard possibly because when I have this standpoint, then my content will rank even higher. But yeah, that is my review of Scrapey. I hope that you liked the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions to Scrapey or other products you would like me to review, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.